So as far as Newton's researches on curves generated by motion, uh, an approach to curves that was uh, alternative to the algebraic approach to curves in terms of equations, I've chosen a page from the Waste book uh, that is uh, dated probably in retrospect uh, 8th November 1665. Uh, on this folio you, we see at the top left we see the parallelogram law that allows you to compose velocities in order to obtain the the resultant velocity and then we see a number of curves that Newton considers we see a spiral uh, we see uh, a kind of cycloid we see the quadratrix we see an ellipse and then we see the hyperbola and the logarithmic the associated logarithmic curve now in this page Newton is interested in drawing tangents to mechanical lines. Mechanical lines are difficult lines for uh, Newton's contemporaries. Why not trying to draw tangents to mechanical lines by considering the construction, the mechanical construction, and applying the parallelogram law uh, to the moving point that traces the line and thereby trace the tangent. Now what's interesting about this manuscript is that uh, the simple idea that Newton uh, pursues can uh, lead to errors and Newton makes several blunders that he corrects. And uh, I would uh, suggest that uh, this is one page that is quite interesting because uh, it shows us uh, Newton at work with an approach that is alternative to the algebraic approach and uh, secondly the interesting thing is that uh, there are a couple of mistakes which happens very rea rarely in Newton's mathematical manuscripts.